From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hello everyone, I'm Irene O'Connor. Today is the day those living in nursing homes and assisted living will start getting COVID vaccines. This comes days after healthcare workers began getting their vaccines. Not only are residents getting the vaccine starting today, but so are nurses and other staff who work at nursing homes. The goal is to have all residents and staff in the state vaccinated by the end of January. Now to the latest COVID-19 numbers released by the governor. Yesterday, the positivity rate was nearly 6.5%. 46 more people died in a 24-hour period. Now across the country, the number of Americans hospitalized with COVID-19 was at a record high for the 12th day in a row. Well, the Connecticut National Guard has set up a field hospital at the Connecticut Convention Center in Hartford. We haven't seen a field hospital since the beginning of the pandemic back in April. Now, these types of alternative care facilities will provide relief if hospitals get too packed. Hi, everybody. Scott Haney coming to you from the west end of Hartford. Nice to see all of you on this Friday. It is December 18th, and it's going to get cold tonight, really cold. Let's take a look at the day ahead. Uh, we are still dealing with some cold temperatures, just like yesterday. The numbers are only in the mid to upper 20s and low 30s during the day today under partly sunny skies. It's breezy out there, and that breeze is making it feel even colder, so make sure you bundle up. Tonight's overnight lows, single digits, uh, maybe some low tweens along the shoreline, but it looks like a very, very cold night tonight coming up, so you want to brace yourselves make sure you're indoors and if you're an essential worker please dress in layers you know the you know the role uh and no pets outside tonight please bring them in tomorrow 32 degrees mostly sunny skies sunday afternoon there will be some showers and uh, maybe some snow showers around sunday afternoon through sunday evening and that'll all end by about midnight monday and tuesday basically dry wednesday looks good and then for christmas eve day we're talking about some showers that are moving in through the night and into early christmas day morning have a great day.